Gefraid was most probably among those Vikings expelled from Dublin in 902, whereafter he helped his kinsman Ragnall conquer Northumbria. Ragnall died in 920, and so the following year Citric left Dublin to rule in Northumbria, and Gefraid succeeded Citric as ruler of Dublin. Citric's early reign was marked by raids he conducted against the native Irish, including one at Armagh. This upset the sons of Citric, who allied with a son of Helgi, possibly Tom Rayer MacAlchi of Limerick, and seized the city. This act began a period of conflict between the Vikings of Dublin and Limerick which would last until 937. Gefraid was most probably among those Vikings expelled from Dublin in 902, whereafter he helped his kinsman Ragnall conquer Northumbria. He returned to Dublin to eject the sons of Citric and continued to rule as king there. Following his return he led further raids, including attacks on Kildare and Dunmore Cave. Ragnall died in 920, and so the following year Citric left Dublin to rule in Northumbria, and Gefraid succeeded Citric as ruler of Dublin. Citric's early reign was marked by raids he conducted against the native Irish, including one at Armagh. This upset the sons of Citric, who allied with a son of Helgi, possibly Tom Rayer MacAlchi of Limerick, and seized the city. This act began a period of conflict between the Vikings of Dublin and Limerick which would last until 937. In 931 he led an attack on a camp established by the Vikings of Limerick at Magrain, near the borders of Gefraid's kingdom, with the intent of containing Gefraid's power. He returned to Dublin to eject the sons of Citric and continued to rule as king there.